Welcome back to the Merton Gag podcast. That's not, not free... it. That's the wrong one. <laughs> With your host, who likes to boast, Greg no, what and up? Goo. Howdy, partners. Ah, okay. What a lovely intro. Yeah. As always, make sure you go and follow our Twitter at the Three Skins, and now follow our Instagram as well at Three Skins Podcast. All of our social media, all of our personal stuff, and those two links will be down in the description. Please go follow us because that's where all of our updates are and stuff like that. All that good stuff. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Can you do us a massive favour and like this video because it mm. get, helps us with the algorithm and it's literally just a click. Just a, just so, a little click. Just a click the uh, the, the thumb. <laughs> So we have, uh, we we got the uh, light on today, mm. and I'm already sweating. Told you it would happen. Mark. I told you it would happen. Hashtag sweaty mark. I told you it would happen straight away. You're just sweating. You're not... How it's are you sweating? I... It's just a light. It's because I had to set it up, and it was so grueling. Oh. Oh. So grueling, <laughs> tying that light to the top of the camera. Oh, God. Don't, don't press the button. I'll tell you <laughs> what, though. It, at least with the light, it reminds you to look at the camera. Yeah, because I'm yeah. blind now. Every time I look that way. Yeah. Oh, so what have we all been up to then, everyone? Skyrim! You been playing Skyrim? Yeah. yeah, when I got here, I got here about nice. like an hour ago and Matt was playing Skyrim. I was fucking around with his character and shit. Yeah. I miss that Asshole. game. That game used to be like my what life. What kind of character are you playing? Like an archer or something? Nord archer, but like, it's annoying because when you get swamped, it's like, oh shit! So I'm, I'm like equal with two hands... And the yeah. bow. Man, I always used to play the stealthy wood elf motherfucker. Of course you did. L- little midget guy come in and went, <laughs> Little midget guy. <laughs> oh, shake your mate. <laughs> I was always a Nord, either dual wielding or sword and magic. Yeah, Perfect yeah, combo. Magic. <laughs> every time I started it up, I was like, Midget's something different this time. Like, I'm going to be an archer or... And it would just, every time, yeah, just be the same. Like, yeah, now fire, it's hard, sword. Hard, isn't it? uh, That's what I've been trying to do this time, because normally I'm just like either a shield and a sword or double handing, yeah. But this time I'm bowing. Bit destructive. This section is what have we been up to, but we might as well just call this section from gaming. now on like gaming because it's all we talk. Yeah, it's all we do uh, really. Talking I... about that, we watched the cyberpunk thing. Oh yeah, gameplay that... review. Yeah. It's uh, by the guys who oh. did Witcher Three. I remember you telling me about that. It, the there's gameplay out. Yeah, they they released that... gameplay. It looks. Does so it look good? good? Yeah, man. The Witcher Three is is the best game. My favorite game of all time. It's, it's motherfuckers up. Phenomenal that game. Jesus Christ. I don't know how many hours I put into that, and I was just gonna. I've just, to... I've just thought of something. Sorry, really? sorry, guys. Hang on. <laughs> What's he doing? If I, Should we, we don't... just keep that in? That was pretty. <laughs> we don't need the good. mic, um, and oh. I think it would drain power. It might oh, do. Good point. I don't know if it would or not. Okay, what have you been up to then, Goo? Because there's no point um, in asking. Greg. I know. I know. I'll, I'll, on Monday, what? I'll what? cook. Greg what? did something. What? On bang all in Monday, I cooked an incredible roast, man. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? What that? Roast beef. Comedy Central roast. <laughs> <laughs> the roast of Greg. <laughs> you, your mum died of cancer. Oh, God. Okay. That, uh, is, that is as that, well. That's, comedy, that's what Comedy Central roast, roast is. Guys, yeah. I, got a, I got a good idea. Yeah, go over to our Instagram. We'll post a picture of Greg after this podcast goes up. Podcast goes Podcast. up. Just just lay into him and roast him and we'll we'll fix you in this. Yeah, yeah and in then the next one. And then yeah, the next one we'll do the roast of Gerg. Yeah. Oh, no. the, everyone's waiting for the roast of Lewis. Now we now every, we have you every here. Every video is the roast of Lewis. Now we have you here, Everyone. spindly arm. Spindly arm. We can uh because I can go on the um, Where's My Challenge comments and type your name in the search. <laughs> oh, mate, you've, it's every comment. You've been scrolling for a while. So, yeah, you made a roast. What else yeah. have you been up to? Uh, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Ori- Origins. You know, doing yeah. that Egypt shit, you know what I mean? It's pretty fun. That game does look good, but I just, I like, you know, I just sort of like fell out of love with Assassin's Creed. You know what I mean? I used the, to this love one, this game. This one will reignite it. It's, it. it's, yeah. te- it's ten times, like, I don't really It's like the best Assassin. one. I never, like, the only Assassin's Creed I really liked was, like, the second one. And Black Flag. Black Flag was See, good. Black I like Flag it. is my favourite one. And yeah. everyone's like, eh, it's shit. It's amazing. I didn't, that I didn't, game I didn't really game like it's, it's a, it's a fantastic pirate game. Not oh. a great... That's Assassin's the thing. Creed no, but that's been, that's been the, that's been the case for years. You know, yeah. I mean? ever since. No, um, I'm just saying it's good. Whenever yeah. they try to make an actual just go straight back to games, yeah, guys. Whenever they, mm. they they try to make an actual Assassin's Creed game, it just ends up shit. So just don't. If you're gonna make an Assassin's Creed yeah. game, don't make an Assassin's Creed game. Make but it, it like turned into like an actual storyline behind it, like why you need to go all this stuff. And as soon as that ended, it was just like, uh, what time are we traveling to this time? Oh, let's just. It would just became like nothing. It was like this yeah. is fucking shit. Do you know what I think's funny? 
Mm. They've created a game where people say ass twice. Ass, ass in. <laughs> I'm going to ass, ass in you. That's a, do the ultimate pronk. <laughs> the pronk. Right, gameless stuff. You made... I made a roast. You made a roast. A roast beef. Uh, with... Didn't include me in it. No, I no. had ro- roast potatoes. I had you didn't get any of the roast. Didn't have enough money. I had sweet, like honey carrots. It was beautiful stuff. Man. What do you mean you didn't have enough money? To feed me, because I'm a fat fuck. Oh, I thought you meant like he bought him because you didn't pay for anything. He was really? like, oh, bad luck. And he just well, the, ate the, it in the, front the of The you. beef cost like 11 <clears throat> quid. Jesus. And I was like, Jesus, man. And I'm like, yeah, well, it tasted good, so. <laughs> yeah. It was worth the money. Um, uh, we actually went to the woods recently, and me and Greg are learning to drive currently. <laughs> so that's something that's going on. Maybe we can turn the driving thing into a thing. Because, Lewis, you've been driving for more than three years. Mm-hmm. So that means you can take us out in the car. And we yeah. can... Because we're all insured. And uh, mm. that should be interesting. God, who wants to see... um A car crash. Top beers. <laughs> top beers. Uh, it could have gone... You could have gone a lot worse with that one. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> nothing, nothing came to mind. Uh, <laughs> so you've been up to anything else? Uh, it... Uh, we have got a really short clip that I might just release on this channel. Of um, we went, we found this public toilet that just had a window, and you could just—it was like oh, yeah. it was like waist high, and you could just look in and watch people piss. Yeah, we went to uh, <laughs> we went to Beauty. Uh, when were we going to Beauty? What we a went... great day out! Yeah, <laughs> we got yeah, out. Had a nice <laughs> we... meal, petted some donkeys. Yeah, we watched some strangers take a piss. We, and we, shit. we went all the way to Beauty to just look at each other piss for a window. <laughs> <laughs> to, be honest, to be honest, I'd rather do that than got. go and look at cars, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's the only What's more interesting? Uh, car music is boring, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's cars shit, it? cars I used science. to get dragged out as a kid, and it's like, oh, I really appreciate it. this. Is really cool. What a lovely day out. And inside, you're like, I don't want Apparently, they got Chi Chi Bang Bang there in the moment. Mate, it's Last right. time I went there, they had a James Bond thing on, and they had all the Bond cars. That was pretty cool. Like Dude, They had like the underwater yeah, one. When, when it was, uh, uh, there was an anniversary, in fact, I think it was just as Casino Royale come out. And I went that to, might have been it. I went to Bewley, yeah? Mm. And they had fireworks to the theme of James Bond. And it That's was pretty sick, sick man. That's it pretty was like that. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's that, pretty that, that, cool. That is cool. That is cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, anyway, cool. guys, so the first topic today, we're going to go into it. It's uh, I've actually done a little bit of research on this you one. You didn't ask me what I've been up to. We don't care. Uh, you said some sh- Yeah, go on. I haven't been up to anything. <laughs> oh, okay, then. No, the thing is, I've I've been up to loads of shit, but, like, so much stuff, that it's just boring shit. Yeah, that's that's the same. Like, I'm like, normally it's... doing nothing, but when something comes up, then I always forget about up. what well, I've been doing in a week. you got a new car? Well, that was the thing, yeah. I had to sort out getting a new car in 24 hours. That was a ball ache. Then I had to sort out getting money back from a deposit I put down on a different car. That was a ball ache. Uh, it's just, like, I've had a week of just, just shit. But new car sorted, that was it. I haven't really been up to anything else. Okay. Glad you asked. Thank so, you. uh, it's. <laughs> Let's All right. That podcast. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> topic one. First topic of today, because the next one is not a topic, it's a Ooh. game show. We're playing another game. With an interesting forfeit. Oh, which God. Uh, we've had to debate about a lot before we. Actually, started this today. Yeah, that's true. but we'll talk more about that later. So first also, topic, please, Mahu. Oh, uh, I know what the first topic is. Yeah, I, I give you a little inkling, but you don't know. It's fetishes. 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 So we're here to fetish shame people. I bet like, everyone kink ev- shame. Kink shame. Is that what they call I'm it? I'm not gonna fetish shame anyone. Whatever you're into, you're into. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Some no. of them I don't necessarily understand at all. But oh, there's a there's there's gonna be. Quite a lot here. Mm. <clears throat> what have you found? Just like the weirdest fetish. Well, yeah. Can I just say before we start that that that's the I think that's the most important thing about fetishes is that anything can be a fetish. Because oh, trust me, it when can. you were having videos removed for like vomiting and stuff, mm. because they wanted to take it down, but they couldn't come up with a good enough excuse as to why it needed to come down. It was like, oh, it was your vomit underwater video, wasn't it? Yeah, and they were like, yeah. "Oh, it could be deemed as um like fetish and sexual material," but then it's like, "But surely anything could." 
couldn't anything. Like there no, could be a, there could there could be a video of you kicking a cat. Do you know well, what I mean? Greg, someone is that is off my to that. that is like, my someone is, I do love. <laughs> I love animal violence. Greg, Greg put but it right. Thing, anything can be a fetish. Hmm. Anything. Well, Greg put it right in saying that they are, they assume when we make those videos that it is for fetish reasons. Did yeah. it? Did it? At any point did that occur to you or anyone watching that like you were like this is going to turn some people on? No, because I don't think no, it did. No, but I'm glad. I'm glad if it did. And, uh, <laughs> if you like that, yeah. <laughs> Message right. anyway, Matt, and he'll send you custom. He'll send you custom vomit what? clips. Oh, okay. Oh, you're looking, looking at the right. Top so of I'm not going to go through, you know, the the normal ones, the necros, the pedos, the <laughs> yeah, all the, the standard, people who like the food, standard all that sort of stuff. Shit, yeah. All that, just the the, um, the weak ass shit. We'll say. Okay. The necros well, and the pedos. We, we, we start with yeah, one that shit. you might know. Greg, stop looking. I want to uh, stop cheating, boy. Hurry what, up and just say him. Yeah, but you guys keep interrupting. Go oh, on. on. Hurry up. There's one called Vor. V O R. Yeah. And it is. Can I make a? Can I hedge a guess as to all of the weird ones that you found originated from Asia somewhere? No. Pro- no. No. Or Germany. No. 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 Nah, I was Germany. wrong. I'm sorry. Literally underneath where you are sat right now is where they all began. <laughs> In my dungeon. Uh, <laughs> I snotted <laughs> in my drink. <laughs> you so, guys, right? I'm gonna. So four, yeah. Four is four. eating the flesh of other people. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty metal, right? I, I mean, I, I, I but haven't... it's not to the. It's not to the the just the eating and then masturbating. It's people who eat other people raw or cooked and they ejaculate immediately. It just the did, did, the thing do of these it people have to them... be dead, or is it just like it I can matter. lose that leg? It doesn't matter. Eat my leg, mate. There's people. I'll hobble home. You've like... you've seen that Armin Armin Vice, the the what cannibal at that guy's cock in a bath. Have I seen? I don't yeah, but... know. I tell you what though, what I you've been to Germany? Of... And... <laughs> no, no. What I thought was, I'm. If anyone's heard of the band Ramstein, I they've got a song. And when they perform it, it's called Mind Tile, which I believe it means my dinner or my meal or something. I think it's about and it, this and it's story. it was a, it was about a, a Russian cannibal. And in the song, he, he comes out and his microphone's got a big like butcher's knife on it, and he gets a gigantic cooking pot and he throws the keyboard player in the cooking pot and he like flame throws him alive in it, and it and that was a song about a Russian cannibal who ate some bloke's knob or something or ate all of them. I can't. I'll have to Google. It the sounds actual like story. this. This what happened. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Looking at Lewis, he looks. You know. I was gonna say pretty boy, but not so much. Especially I'm not, not later. Boy. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> um, <laughs> Teasers. Look at him and think him at a Ramstein con- concert. You can. You. I I'm not imagine... in the middle moshing. I'm. Big, I'm, big I'm on the side, just like big geezer covered in leather. Covered in leather everywhere apart from his dick. <laughs> He's just got his knob flapping out. He's big fat dude, twice the size of me. Bold. Like tattoos on his head. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, so yeah. wait, I'm wait, wait, go wait, 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 alphabetical. Wait, wait. I've just been processing this for the past five minutes. The the ejaculate immediately. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You've just been sat there with that face, like thinking about this bloke, like oh. I can't think of anything <laughs> that turns me on so much that I ejaculate immediately. No, no. I don't yeah. get it. Don't even know. even the even Weird, the one it? thing that you like, you you need a, lot... a little bit of stimulant. <laughs> yeah, like... you need to stick it in. A... Yeah, <laughs> um, just a lot, a lot of these... at least two pumps. You know, <laughs> what I mean? a, lot, a lot of the yeah, a, a lot of these are things that you auto ejaculate from. If you oh really if you, yeah, if you have the fetish. That's okay, so weird. I'm going to go for the first one. And this is called Act- oh. Actorasty. Actorasty. Act- Actorasty. And, uh, it... Is it about rasters? No. Eating rasters dreads. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, getting stiffies to the feeling of sun rays. Oh, okay. What? What do you mean? So, like... They like you know when you sunbathe and you get that warm feeling. Yeah, yeah. that turns some people on. Makes them makes them hard. That's odd. Makes That's them a hard. weird one. Yeah, you so can't like, be a vampire and have that. <laughs> I'll be here all week. I must suck if they live in like the Arctic or something. <laughs> no, but that's where it probably develops because they're so desperate for mm. it. No, you I just get sunbeds. 
No, no, no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Even in places like that, like when I used to go to Sticky Finland, sunbed. they're like, bring, sun, bring sunscreen with you. And you're like, why? It's minus 40. What are you talking about? But because of because like there's no clouds, because it snows, mm. and the sun's so bright and it reflects off the snow, you can actually get sunburned. Like, yeah, 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 you like can, yeah. 30, yeah. I've seen people like, come back from the Alps and there. Yeah, yeah. loads of people like, I know yeah. have gone skiing and have come back with like huge tans and stuff. Okay, so I'm doing this in alphabetical order. I took these oh, okay. from. Well, are we still on A? Yeah, <laughs> I took I took these from several websites. So if several. it looks like I've stolen them all, it's actually a bit of research. I've just more copy paste. Um, this one's called Orta Assassinophilia, which is. You get sexual pleasure from the risk of being killed. I can understand that. I can get that. I because get that, it's yeah. like an adrenaline rush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't necessarily adrenaline understand why it gush. would... <laughs> I don't understand why it would turn you on, but I can see where the thrill comes from. I, I, I could, it's I like could, a danger wank, I could isn't see, it? Like, I could see, like, imagine... No. <laughs> imagine, like, I don't know, like you're a spy or some shit, and you got like you got, like, this, this woman that you got to protect... No, and, Mr. And, Bond, and, and you've just you been running, a, you've just been running away on a snowmobile. You got bullets shooting everywhere, <laughs> and then like after you blew up the wheels, your snowmobile falls over, and you you land together in the snow. And You're gonna want to bang after that. <laughs> like that's that's I could see that. I thought you were gonna say he Stupid rides down on his snowmobile. I, it blows up behind him like the slow mo, and he just gets off the snowmobile and just whacks one <laughs> off in the snow. <laughs> that just made me think. I wonder if. You could get attracted to laser rays because if you could, you'd probably have a couple of extra seconds until your knob gets yeah. sliced off by Goldfinger. If you got hard, that would that would help though, wouldn't it? Exactly. You there, like, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Give you a couple of extra minutes. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next one is called cathro catheterophilia. Oh, we've skipped B. We've gone straight. So to this C. is a do with catheters, right? Say that again. Cath- catherophobia. Catheter. Philia. Right. Is it something to do with cats? It's, uh, no, they love the f- feeling of having a catheter. Oh, they like the feeling of having one. They're not attracted what's, to what's, them, but they like the feeling of having them in yeah. there. Oh, it's yes. a cath- uh, the thing you get at a hospital. Yeah, you put it's like a balloon, and then they put it up your wee wee. Imagine being a nurse, oh, that, and then man. they pump the balloon what? so it like pumps up in your. Yeah, but imagine stomach. being a nurse that has to do that. Well, like when you have the like next thing you know, it's just like. Fucking get yeah, a big old hard on, just think and now now you got more more fucking penis to have to shove it down. Well, you say <laughs> that that made harder. you made your thing I feel weird. Yeah. I had this idea, and I'd only ever do this if we had like movie budget. But what you do, yeah, <laughs> that, is you get be you no get time. you get a catheter, you mm. put it up there, pump the balloon up so you can't pull it out. Yeah, right. Okay. Then you get another person to do it. Suck and the then, air no, no, no. out. <laughs> and then you tie them together and do tug of war. Oh my fuck. Uh, you just rip your dick in half. That actually made my dick feel weird. <laughs> like this video, if that made your dick <laughs> yeah, feel weird. Yeah, talking about fetishes is making my dick feel weird. Yeah, not, in a, not, in, weird not in a shit, nice man. way, in a horrible way. You guys might find some new, <laughs> new fetishes. You're going to walk away with some, some right, new... Right, so the, the next one is called Climacophilia. I got that one, is that right, the, I think. Is that, could, it, we have to guess what they are. Is that okay. is that being aroused by climbing something, like mount, like mountain climbing? Opposite. Opposite. Mm. A climbing the down f- something. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. it'll only work if I climb down. It's, it's, it's falling fro- It's falling down a set of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one. I. Do you remember that episode of EastEnders that went everywhere where the woman pushed down the stairs? Were well, they just there, like, whacking one off? So, so on they, TV, they like... themselves, like, being the ones pushed down the stairs. <laughs> what do so... they do? Just, like, you know like, when you get that little special feeling, you're like, I'm going to go for a little tug, I'm feeling it. What do they do? Just walk to the top of the stairs and just throw themselves down it? There's, there's obviously I'm a really... So confused. There's a really hard thing about this is that imagine <laughs> imagine getting old that'd hurt falling down the stairs ha, like, imagine off. that being your fetish and then you get old and you can no longer fall down the stairs without bro, breaking a hip bro, that, <laughs> that's why they all get stair lifts man <laughs> the, if you have a stair lift, stair lift you have this thing because otherwise you just get a, a bungalow no, like no, a no, no. when you're when you're old you, you get and you want to you want to um, have a little fun with yourself but you obviously can't fall down the full sli- flight of stairs because you'll mm. break your hip you get on the standard stair lift and you go, and you get all the way down to the last step and you just go, 
and throw yourself off the <laughs> very bottom <laughs> one. Yeah. And as soon, as soon as you land, you land with your hand here. <laughs> you make a Kevin and Perry groove in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the next one is uh, is the, the fetish <coughs> that me and Greg oh. got banned for. <clears throat> and where's my challenge got banned for? Vomit. Vomit. It's What's called, it called a metaphilia. Yeah, metaphilia, yeah. So a, me- a metaphobic, uh, 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 people who've messaged me in the past have said... Don't like vomit. Who, yeah, people have messaged... I've probably messaged you in the past as well. Uh, they they said that our videos help them get over their phobia of vomit. That's good. That's good. So, I mean, there's a plus side to it. There's always a plus side to puking up and putting it on YouTube. So the next one... Um, <laughs> a proctophilia. A proctophilia. Okay. Uh, a, a pro- the word proct, like proctologist. What's a proctologist? Again? I don't know, but I... I've like been, a bum that's... expert, isn't it? Yes, is it something so, in your arsehole? Uh, a means usually no, so... E. No, a. Oh, E. E proctol- uh, proctol- So you just like, like, you can't get off unless it's up a bum? I don't know. That's no. a good answer. That is a good answer. You like, e- I, I, I got it, I got it. Eating poo. You get off over the ridges of the asshole. <laughs> The, li- the little, the little starfish bit. Do, do you know what's right? Well, funny, right? You do this right now. If you've got your phone, go on your camera and pucker your lips and look at it. It looks like a butthole. So both ends. <laughs> I didn't know what lips you meant. Look like. Get your phone and pucker your lips. No, yeah. Looks like a bar, doesn't it? What are we doing? Nah, like it, it does. It, it, like, it, it looks brown. like a, a little bit of a deformed bar. One of those pink, pink starfish. Uh, they come in all different colours. Okay, so some are brown, one. some are white, some are pink. The next one is. So what, no, you didn't tell us what it was. Yeah. What is oh it? yeah, um, farts. Oh, okay. Farts. Okay. He propped. Yeah. yeah. Shouldn't but, that be called like gastrophilia or something? Probably. I, I don't fucking name them, do I? <laughs> Formicophilia is the next oh, one. Oh, so they, they, they were oh, like... Oh, Greg. So they, they'd be like banging doggy and they'd be like, Fuck! Fuck, bitch! Yes! <laughs> is, it, is, is, it when it's, <laughs> is it when it's in and they fart on it and it like... The sensation yeah. on your cock of are a they, fart. Are, are, they one like, of, the are they one of those <laughs> people that like auto-ejaculate so like they can start banging as soon as the fart goes... <laughs> it just like vibrates out the sides like... I, mm-hmm. I I don't I didn't look into it much. I but what I, if someone does this? <laughs> it's like is that gonna turn them on? No, oh. it's uh, I I I think it's more to do with the smell. Uh, so yeah, but what if the because per- sometimes farts just don't smell of anything. No. I bet that really saddens them. But you see, as as gross as I think that is, I can understand why that's a fetish because it's like it's because you have it. Yeah. Because it's intimate, isn't it? Not, but do you know what I mean? It's actually from someone. Like, getting turned on by sun rays, I don't understand. But uh. something that actually comes out of a human, yeah, I don't necessarily get it. But I can get as to why maybe it would turn you on. Because it's actually, you can actually I, do that with someone. To be, I can't have sex with the sun. To be but, fair, though, if you are <clears throat> really in love with someone... you got to smell their farts at some point. Well, technically, you can have sex with the sun. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> with, with, the with, diddler, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> with no, Which son do you mean? Eighteen plus only. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell! Okay, right, uh, okay formicophilia, guys. We're, we're going on to the next one. We're on F, so at least give me some. Uh, Jesus, oh, man, we, we ain't got no, much longer. Hey, you know, uh, it's arousal to insects. Ooh. Okay. Insects are gross. You don't get it. I'm thinking. Which... But what do you do with them? Are you like shoving them up your ass? Yeah, like you, you get millipedes and put them all over your titties. Yeah, what and do stuff? you do? Just I... fucking a woodlouse. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I buck don't up, know. Bugger, 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 bugger. Uh, if it was me, I think I'd try the feeling of getting a couple ants, pulling your foreskin hood up, <laughs> filling them with ants. That would be amazing. That would <laughs> yeah, feel pretty good. good. Yeah. They'd crawl down your cock hole. Nah, that'd be good. I've got such a short foreskin. Though. Bullet ants, I don't ants, even have yeah. to put a few ants in there. That's but another idea good. I wanted to do. The bullet ant condom. Dude, you'd have no dick afterwards. Yeah, man. I think you... you like, your dick would be, be like... Be so no that's different. Fat. Some people have to go to, like, a uh, hospital. Yeah, they get, like, adrenaline bad. shots. Yeah. Uh, do you want to move camera angle? Because we're probably about halfway through this. No, not in the middle of a topic. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, next one is definitely Greg. <laughs> next one is definitely Greg. It's called lithophilia. Oh, rocks. Yeah. In you. It's uh, arousal to stone and gravel, aka um... grave or. <laughs> Greg's got this. Nah, you like yeah, graves. Yeah. Man. I, I, I like back. graves. You and, don't get a and sexual you used, thing and out of it. And you used to study fossils. I'm, I'm not. And you like graves. I'm not attracted to, the, to the stone form of graves. I'm attracted to what's underneath the fucking graves. So I, it, and it's not necrophilia because people. It's more like I'd say like semophilia. So you it's like, like what, cemetery because like it gives you a dust. semi. No, I don't. I don't. I don't like. I don't like the dead bodies. I don't like the graves. I like the whole idea of all of it put together. The grand I, scheme of I, things. I, I, think, the, I think the only thing that will make yeah. you come is hearing their family cry when the <laughs> their grave is desecrated. That'd be oh, incredible. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Get right. me off. So the next one, guys, is nebulophilia. Nebulophilia. I swear I've heard nebula. Like obviously, no, no nothing to do with nebula. Oh, it's no. nothing. Oh, so oh, where does the no. word neb- nebula comes from? Like milk or something? Doesn't it? No. Is it milk? Is it like tea milk? milk? Make milk you wait. No. It's uh, <laughs> it's arousal to fog. Oh, fog. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Hey, baby, want a fog? You can only get turned on about four times a year, max. <laughs> yeah, like, but what about the fog turns you on? Is I... it like, is it like going out and banging in the fog that turns you on? <laughs> or is it the fog itself that turns you You can on? get away with a lot in the fog. You, no yeah, one can mate, see you. In the bang, of the bang, it street, makes banging in public ten times easier. No, maybe that's a thrill, because some people like... Like whacking off and flashing themselves in public, that's what turns them on. So, if there's loads of fog, you can go out in the middle of the high street and no one knows you're doing it. Like, people are walking no, around in their shop it, and you're just like, it, No, but what gets them off is the idea that they're going to get caught or be seen. True. That's okay. what gets off people who, who are exhibitionists. Well, if you. If I've you, done a lot of research like on this because I was going to do a fetish know? video. Hello, sorry, technical difficulty issues. Um, yeah, fog. Um, fog. So, I'm thinking. People who smoke vapes. <laughs> oh shit! There's a, there are people that love vapes, and there's definitely got to be a vape fetish by now. Definitely. There's a smoking one. Yeah. No, but this is different. Like th- these people, like th- I, they hang out at vape shops like all day, just talking about yeah, the different. Yeah, it's really vape they're always really and stuff. foggy in there. Yeah. I don't. I they're think like a, they're I like got some. Fusiacs. I got some suspicions about these vape boys. Right. Um. Do you want to scroll through and pick your favourites? Because we're only on like F. Uh, and there's, I, there's, and we're already there's on not half many an left. Hour. No? Right. no. Okay. Okay. Next one is I assume Japanese omarashi, which is an attraction to having a full bladder. Uh, that sounds very Japanese. Um, very very Japanese. Ne- next one is celes celesmophilia. Okay. It's an arousal to someone stuttering, which is actually kind of funny that it's named that. Yeah, and it's kind of funny it's named that. Like, it's named after. It's named in a way that whoever's attracted to it can't actually say it out loud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. The next one is a bit weird. It's called psychrophilia. Psychro. And it's arousal to being cold and watching other people who are cold. Be cold. <laughs> I like that. That's uh, that might be. Is one that because my... you shake and you might jiggle a bit? <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. No, it's because it's like you see someone like if someone's really cold, they're desperate for heat. So that means you can get them. You know what I mean? I stuck my big black oh, Johnson. Like, imagine you you're in the Arctic, yeah, and you find like this woman, and she's all shivering and cold. She's gonna want to hug, you know, the, the 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 pathetic man that has whatever that. Ar- oh. Ar- Arcticophilia, or whatever it's called, and and then he gets a, he finally gets a human contact that he's always wanted. I think that that fetish makes sense when you think about it in terms like that. Next one, I'm just saying, just... is a uh, simorophilia. <laughs> you actually just had a thought that that one and the one before kind of link. Because if you're cold, you're going to be stuttering. <laughs> so if you've got both of those, oh, if you've got both of those fetishes, you're yeah. in for a good old time in a little icy gonna cave. Explode afterwards. Aren't you? Just but remember that. though oh. that semen frozen isn't great for anyone. Simorophilia is arousal to seeing disasters or violent accidents. One of the things was um, car accidents. Well, like when you drive past one on the motorway, 
just bashing yeah. one out. No, but a, lo- a lot of them. <laughs> that <went. laughs> That's fucking horrible. Weird, isn't it? Do you think like That's... there's people there with like uh, police responders and they're, they're, they're like well police radios and they're sat there like. Oh yeah, we got a six four nine. Six four nine. It's like, it's like, six, four, nine. <laughs> it's like yeah. oh, I watched some Louis Theroux and thing, and there was a bloke it. who went round um, Philadelphia, and because they have like so many, uh, like the gun crime there is like mental. Yeah. And there was a guy, and he like, and he sits in his car like every night with a with a radio with a police radio, and he was like, "Is this illegal?" And it's like, "No, if you've got a radio and you can tune into it, it's on a public airway, so you can listen to it." And it's like, "All right." And every time they like they report a shooting, mm. he drives to the scene. There's a whole show about that on Netflix. Is there? Yeah. And then there's that. Yeah, there's um, a film about that, it. That, <clears throat> what was it? Night Watcher? Night Crawler. Night Crawler. Night Crawler. Okay, so this is the last one. And this is one that Greg probably would <laughs> like. It's called Zoo Sadism. Ooh. And it's animals in pain. <laughs> ah, man. Zoo Sadism. <laughs> as horrible as that one is, it's the only well. one that's name makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't like seeing animals in like, pain that's going to kill them. But I like seeing like Just, a like, like funny a, distress, a, a winded pain, <laughs> funny distress, or something like that. Yeah, but like a, like a cat that runs into a window. That's funny, <laughs> unless it cracks its skull. And it's funny until you find out that it's cracked its skull. I've got you a good I mean? story. When I was at school, um, like I don't know if like it was it's the same, but we used to have like you know the class you have at the start of the day that's not really class. It's like where you go, you sit for half an hour, and you have registration. Oh, like like then, sort of like yeah, t- tutorial. We used to call it tutor. Yeah, yeah tutor. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and um. And I remember, like, because I, I hated school so much, I spent all my school days just staring out the window. And we would, there's a big old window in my tutor room. I used to sit next to it, and there was a there was a building opposite, and there was a pigeon, like, just staring at me for like ten minutes. I'm looking at this pigeon, like, oh, fuck, what is this thing gonna do? And he was, I was like, I, you know, you just have that gut feeling that something's gonna happen. And I'm mm. like, I can't take my eyes off it because he's gonna do something weird. And <laughs> He just jumped and flew straight into the window, like, boom, and just like, <laughs> and there's this big, like, like pigeon. <laughs> I, I laughed all day. That's some fucking uh, Looney Tunes it, it, shit. Mate, yeah. It was amazing. I was looking at him like, we would have made dead icon. It was like, boom. Man, I would, I would have sco- was, Were birds tweet around his head? <laughs> yeah, I would have scooped his... It was the, one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I would have scooped his corpse up and given the proper burial. Because you think about it, he just made you laugh well, for just a whole day. Just bash his Yeah, brain. he deserves that. <laughs> Do you, yeah, would you bury people just to desecrate? You lithophiliac. You don't. You don't bash the grave straight away. You leave it to rot for. Right, a while. so I have, oh, a, okay, I, I have a bonus one which I couldn't find the name for, but it is one that you've made um, up. It's an it's attraction to girls who can't stop their cars. <laughs> no way. Wait, what? Oh no, no, no! Actually, as weird as that <sighs> is, I kind of get it because like some guys like to be like um. Like the hero. Oh, yeah. And if there's a woman who can't work a car and you walk over like, out the way, madam, I'll help you with ah, that. It's not just Let that. me get in there. But there's also a hidden, nasty aspect behind them because they, they know they can't get away. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like, because, it, no, it's not because, it's not because they're, they're actually going to be in danger. But it's, it, <laughs> Is that it's some like, Dennis no, shit? No, it's, it's like, it's like from the Always Sunny. It's, it's the implication of <laughs> There's an implication that things could go wrong for them. No, it's actually more to do with the fact that their boobies are jiggling. <laughs> and they're bending over trying to fix yeah. the engine. Ah, oh, yeah. That, to be fair, that that actually... You see that... <laughs> happens, so you're, you're, that your your, your mind is a little bit... <laughs> that happens a lot. You know, that happens a lot in like TV shows and movies, to be honest. Yeah. you got like the hot woman, you know, mm. and she's got like the short shorts... At the side you know, of the road. We better top. stop and help her out. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> how many movies have... Created that uh, I can think fetishes. Of it. Wow, yeah. Purely because they've seen it in a movie. If then... you see that and you romanticise with it, yeah. and like, mm. oh, that's so. I'd love that to happen. That'd yeah, be so I, cool. Yeah. I'd love to be the hero. The funny, like... It seems the most out of place, but probably the most understandable. <clears throat> yeah. So I don't think movies create killers like mm. a lot of people. They do. just create perverts. They create. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, that's that was it. What was your favourite ones, guys? Um, I can't. Some was so weird, but I bet there are weirder ones. If you I, want to see fetishes point two, we can I we can all find definitely, some. Definitely, I could do about four. Yeah, there, there's hundreds of just like crazy shit. I don't like any of them. <laughs> I just think they're, they're too mild. I just think they're a bit. <laughs> it's just a bit odd. I, I guess. L- I think fog was a personal highlight because yeah. that's just. You, Incredible. I, I, I like lithophilia. <coughs> I think that's what do these people do when they watch? Is like the happening to them, like a porn film. Yeah, I, I want, I want to, I want to know. Yeah. I, I want to, I want to watch a documentary on some of these people. 
I want to watch the doc. I want to see why, <laughs> what, what, like specifically why they get off over it. Free stuff. skins documentaries. Mm. Yeah. But there was a show ages ago. Do you remember? It's like um, it, it oh, fuck. the the clip of it went viral, and it was the woman who liked to pretend she was furniture. Do you remember that? That was and, a, that was one I found. Yeah, yeah but yeah, it's like I can't in. remember what the show was called. Like my my strange, addiction. my strange addiction, that's it. But they they made out like it was all just like oh things you like doing. Like I just don't know what. But deep down they were all sexual. Mm. It turned all of them on. So I bet you could sift through that and find some fucking mental. Well, ones. yeah, it's weird. I I think that like people get turned on by a lot of stuff. Because at the end of the day, think about it. What is the most prime motivator of humans? Sexual desire. Banging. Food. Banging. Food. Mad must food. fuck. Food, sex, sleep. That's the only things that humans mm. deep down care about. And that's why... It's the only thing that's essential, and, really, and isn't fog. it? The rest of it's just... Maybe like, like their, brain, their, brain, their brains are like, I need to do something with my life, but I'm not motivated. So they, they start like picturing something they need to do, but as a sexual thing, and it motivates them to do it. Okay. Like 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 maybe like a bit all the big businessmen get off over like the big businessmen like firing people and stuff. I bet they do. Oh yeah, no, no, they, 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 that's a that's a thing. There's definitely there's yeah, a power there's de- there's a power trip thing. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. And it's definitely a sexual. It, a lot of all this stuff is because straight power. afterwards they sniff a line of coke and bang a hooker. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, well, like the McAfee. Man, I watch Wolf of Wall Street. That's what happens straight yeah. down. Australia. Right, well, that topic, that we're 40 minutes in already. These podcasts are just getting longer and longer by like two or three minutes every time. But I'll tell you why. It's because everyone wants to chime in and it's very hard. Chime in. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. To be honest, you did have like a hundred things. I, did have, I yeah. did have a lot, but I didn't think it would well, stick well, around But we're forever. not doing a topic with the next one. The next thing should be quite short. We played yeah. a game show on our second podcast where me and Greg went head to head in a... I trashed him. In a, in a Was it a quiz? Yeah, it was like a... Who, no, it was would a you, would you rather. Would you rather, rather me, and, yeah. me and Greg did a would you rather. But um, we're, we're going to play another game where Greg is the host. And we'll see it just after a word from our sponsors. Do you hate Lewis? We already know the answer. So we invented Lewisside. With integrated moaning and screams, you can mash in his head. Pull out his spine. Yank off his mole rack. Stick needles in his eyes. Or just blow him up. Lewis side. Available for free. Speed is of the essence. Basically the idea is I'm going to give you some riddles. And mm-hmm. if you fail them, I'm going to shave your head. So it's quite simple. There's not really much else to it. So I've got to so... get, you're going to do five and I have to get three. Uh, well, yeah, I might give you a bonus one, just to tie break if I need to, but we'll see how well you do. Start you off with a nice easy one. He says. Well, what am I thinking of? Are we going to have, like, can you have, like, phone a friend and... Oh, come on. Nah. I want to shave his head. We'll see. I want to shave his We'll see how bad he does until we start throwing him a bone. So. Let's, say I, let's say I can have one clue. Not for every one. Like, if I'm stumped on one and it's the one I've got to get, I can have one clue. I hope it's clue. the first one. <laughs> I think he's still All right, here we go. This, one's, this one, in my opinion... I'm normally quite good at riddles, but because there's so much pressure... There's no pressure, man. It's, no, only, your, it's only your hair. No, these are really... Like, this one's really easy, and I'll be surprised if you don't get it. Um, don't say that. All right. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain on the Earth? That's not a riddle. It That's is a... a riddle, though. It is. I know the answer. Man knows the answer. Oh, it's Everest, because I... it wasn't... Dis- <laughs> it wasn't dis- hey, he's got one. Right. There we go. Nice easy one out of the way. Okay. I actually had to think about that. I was like, what? And I was like, well done. Oh, I see. Well done. Okay, so that's one. Numero uno. And this is where it goes downhill, isn't it? Did Great. you make that one up? No, no, no. You Great. found that one. Greg's a lot just, of these I've, I've, I've nicked. Greg's just going to make random ones up now. <laughs> no, no. I, I've only got one I've made up. What's and my favourite colour? It's only, But it's funny because it's something that I've noticed, uh, ever people have noticed. It's all over the internet, so you should be able to get it. But you should know. So what. stolen. <laughs> yeah. What belongs to you, but other people use it more than you? Your name. Ooh, he's been looking these up. He's been fucking looking these up, hasn't he? I told you, you I'm to good with riddles, the hard man. ones out. Okay, so I've got two. Great, get the hardest ones now. I've got two of t- two out of two. A doctor and a bus driver are both in love with the same woman. 
an attractive girl named Sarah. The bus driver had to go on a long bus trip that would last a week. Before he left, he gave Sarah seven apples. Why? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's three. That is three. Yeah, that's three. Yeah. That's, that's... You're a bad diddler. No, but like, I, I wanted to start off easy. If I if I did like... Just... You're a shit diddler, mate. This is going up to seven. He has to get five out of seven. All right. Okay. Five out of seven. Sure. <laughs> this two... is ridiculous. <laughs> two hairs line my head. I can power a whole town. <laughs> I can I can power a whole town by sleeping, and I make dough out of my mistakes. What am I? What? <laughs> Two hairs line my head. Two hairs line my head. Oh, no, no. I can power a whole town by sleeping, and I make dough out of my mistakes. What am I? I actually have no idea. Can, can I two answer? Hairs, but like two hairs line I, my I, head. G- g- give them. You have to come up with an answer. Two so. hairs line my head. Yeah. I, I I can power a whole city while I'm sleeping. I'll count it down. And dough. I make dough. dough. I make dough out of my mistakes. Is it like like bread dough? No. Right. So it means money. No. What? You have to give an answer. Give an answer, come on. Pubes. I don't fucking know. Can I answer it? It's Homer, in it. No, it's vagina. Because oh! <laughs> <laughs> have you ever not seen the thing where Homer Simpson mouse looked like vagina? You made that up, didn't you? That's yeah, one of yours. That's, uh, <laughs> on. that's, I thought that was funny. <laughs> How does a vagina power a whole city while it... While it's sleeping. No, Homer does, but... But he, you said the answer his, was his, vagina. His, his mouth looks like a vagina. <laughs> uh, How does Homer's mouth or a vagina power, power a whole city while he's sleeping? By banging. I, whatever. That's, that's not a riddle. <laughs> that is a riddle. That's not a riddle. That was, that was it's what, what's Greg thinking of? Oh, I thought it was good, but whatever. Well, I, I've got three. I've just... Fucked one of them. I've got two more goes, so I have to get at least one of these next two right. Or my hair's going. I go in hard, but come out soft. And I never mind if you want to blow me. Who am I? A candle. No. Bubblegum. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Too confident. The diddle. So I have to get this one right. <laughs> I'm diddling you. The right diddle. Now. Right. I start with a V and every woman has one. She can use me to get what she wants. What am I? What? I start with a V and every woman has one. She can you even use me to get what she wants. What am I? <laughs> Have you made this up? <laughs> can I see it? Because I'm thinking That's like, a good one No I'm good, thinking yeah. like I, I don't think it's right but I was thinking like Visa debit Because like Every you, woman has one say it one, more, say it one more time I start with a V And every woman has one She can even use me To get what she wants What am I? Write in the comments What you think they are Fuck I don't know is this diddle? Well, it's not a vagina, is it? There's well, no you've way already to... given two answers. So are you going to... Just give me a final answer. Vagina. No, her voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's so shit. Did you make that up? No. That's an awful riddle. That's a good riddle. That is a good riddle. Every woman has one, yeah, but so does every man. Yeah, yeah but and she can even use me to get what she wants. Yeah, not it, necessarily. Yeah, but that's the point of it. The point of it is it tricks you into thinking that's yeah. vagina or a visa. Debit. But I knew it wasn't <laughs> vagina. Visa debit. <laughs> <laughs> so have I just lost? Um, I don't know. It's up to Mister. We'll give him one more diddle. R- really diddly. We'll give him are, another... we, are we going to do a decider one? If I get this one right, yeah. I win, and if I get it wrong, 
This one's quite easy. So. Like, oh no, you can't give him an easy one. Yeah, I can't like, think of it. Like, you gotta do, just Google right now the hardest. Hardest riddle ever. <laughs> You're a prick. I, I just you, I won at the start. That's the point. I gave you the easy ones at the start. The ri- <gasps> the diddles get harder. The diddles. So Greg, Greg, aka the diddler, is looking for the last riddle, and if Lewis gets this one right, he keeps his hair. I get to keep my hair. If he doesn't, he doesn't oh, keep his hair. God. <laughs> What thing? Um, Are you ready? I dribbled down myself. Then. Did you see that? I was breathing so heavy. I dribbled <laughs> on my own dick. What? What can you take away the hole, yet still have some left over? What? That didn't even what? make sense. Okay. Worded. So what? What can you take away? What can you take the hole? Oh, okay. What thing can you take the hole away from? Without taking this, well, still having some left over. Is it? Is, what? That, that changed. Anyone who's got uh, that stuttering fetish. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Put it away. What is it? <clears throat> there's still something there, or something left no, over. No. So, what can you? What thing can you take whole away from? Like the whole of it away from, but still have some left over. Like when you think of a whole thing, it's like mm. take the whole thing away, but the there's still some. Thing. There's still some left over. Yeah. What? Nothing. What, what, why is that? I don't know the answer, but I'm just trying. <laughs> you gotta give me a final answer. Come on, man. E- what can you take the whole away? Is it what a play you... on words on the word whole? You're not allowed to ask questions like that. You've, what already, you had, you've ho- already had enough hints. What can you take the whole away from and still have some left over? I hope it. I hope the answer. Needle me this. I I, I hope the answer's <laughs> hair. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the answer. Why are you looking at me? Nothing. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Wrong. <laughs> the word wholesome. You take the oh whole away from it. Oh my god! You still have some left over. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's a good riddle, though, isn't it? It's a good diddle. I've diddled you good. <laughs> God diddled. I fucking fuck. hate the diddler. <laughs> Diddling. Oh, tits. So, guys, um, it's uh, it's good to channel my efforts into diddling. Adults. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> so uh, after this video, uh, Lewis is going to be shaving his hair on my channel. Fuck off. Because he lost. In the news. Man rushed to hospital after stuffing 15 hard-boiled eggs up his bottom whilst high on drugs. 15? 15. That's pretty impressive. Hard-boiled egg? What, eggs. shell on or? Yeah, shell on or shell off. That's an important uh, question. Hard-boiled. So like he... Yeah, but it could still have a shell on it or not. Yeah, do you take the shell off? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm not yeah, there. but not, they must have had the shell on because you you couldn't they, shove they, a bald egg up your ass because yeah, it would just it would mush just, in yeah, your ass unless up. he had like a proper gaping arm. And he had a okay. mushy butt. Yeah, they were peeled. Oh, they were peeled. He so, must have had a proper gape. So His mu- ass must have been like that. So, uh, mushy gapey from- ass. <laughs> mushy gapey <laughs> ass. <laughs> Comes out as a full made omelette. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's from the Netherlands. Yeah, like he was right. on uh, GHB. A shovel of yeah. 15 ball eggs in my bum. <laughs> the old GHB. He, uh, he, he got tachycardia, you know, a little bit yeah. far, fast beating up because he's yeah. got loads of eggs up his ass. <laughs> his heart can't handle the eggs. <laughs> um, uh. Yeah, uh, they got him out and he's all right. Oh, good. That's pretty good. That's good uh, news. <laughs> <laughs> I like, and the whole he... abdominal cavity was thoroughly rinsed. Oh, really? Yeah, so, you know, had a nice clean up there as well. So, oh, what you're trying to say is I can shove a bunch of eggs up my ass and I'll just get a free ass clean. 
That sounds like a good Free deal. Enema, man. Yeah, free enema, man. Enema's like 100 quid, bro. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. I'll tell you one thing. Um, you know John Wayne? Yeah. He had an enema after he died because they clean everything out. Yeah. And he had like 15 pounds worth of shit just in his in his guts where he, all he did was eat like red meat and stuff. That's crazy. Man, I've probably got a lot of shit out of <laughs> I think we should go for enemas. I, I would be up for. Free skins yeah. enemas. You're not happy, are you? He's no. too upset. Like all I can, can I'm, not, I'm, the, uh... I'm not listening to anything <laughs> you're saying. You don't have to do it. Yeah. You don't have to. Or may- maybe we'll just do like, because I've won let me, technically. Let me just like, shave... Maybe I'll just let you give me a funny hairstyle. Let, let me just shave a question mark in the side of your head. <laughs> if you want to go Bic, I'd let you go bold just all around the sides and just leave me a little tuft on top. <laughs> that's what, that's pretty good. I don't know. I want to. Like from I want, like. I need, like, I need this like off. Just circle nah, here. I think that'd be just, pretty just funny. Just like, just there. <laughs> a circle. <laughs> He'll look like the fucking guy from Goonies. <laughs> Not that small because then you might as well just shave it. Yeah. No, you have to. <laughs> it's tuft. We'll see. Right, Fuck guys. It. So the next, the next one is embarrassed owner admits neighborhood serial knicker thief is her cat. Catches, catches, what? So wait. wait so her, her undies were going missing, and she filed an, no. an inquest. Like my knickers are going missing. There's someone in the neighborhood nicking undies, and it was a cat. No, no. The cat was bringing the knickers home. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it was going into other people's houses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, is this a woman <coughs> that this happened to? Yeah. Because like, oh my god, that sounds like the perfect excuse. <laughs> but so there happened to just be like every one oh, no, of the neighbourhood's drawers were just open, it, and the cat it, it, and yeah. with open windows. It was just my cat stealing them. I swear down, it wasn't me. I, <laughs> Fucking I, hell! I wasn't stealing anything. SpongeBob, we're going on a panty raid. Bad cat, bad. <laughs> Said, uh, she said last summer he started bringing in washing from other people's houses, but he stopped once it turned colder. <coughs> now it's that time of year again, and he's back. <laughs> <laughs> he's back on the rampage. He's just he's a nicket. Oh, okay, yeah. That is that. I think mean, that's possibly my favourite news story. His name's Reginald. Now yeah, Reginald's a good name for a cat. Reginald's a good name for a nicker stealing pervert. It was Reggie. He stole me pants. This one's this one's just shit. Fish survives six months without a tail and half of its body. What? Well, like half of its body's gone. Well, like how, With no no tail and half did, a body. How did they cut it up? No, so it was no. basically just a stomach and a mouth. Yeah, this geezer, yeah, it was in um or a head he, and a he mouth. He was going for, he was going through a Thai market and he saw it in a. Uh, a fish tank and he bought it and then kept it alive and then everyone thought it was like some sort of miracle fish and he used to take it to villages and people used to like crowd around it. I saw it. something like that. There was a there was a bloke <laughs> who cut a chicken's head off. Yeah. And the chicken lived and he yeah. used to he invited people like come and look at the headless chicken and the yeah. chicken was just wandering around like they used to feed the chicken oh. with a pipette. We need, yeah. We need to and buy And he died by choking on a bit of corn. We we need to buy like a load of animals and just start mutilating them see who survives. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can take it about. Make money. He, he, I'll cut your fucking head the, off and want to take you about. Don't do it with me, please. The, the, the fish was called I Half. <laughs> That's what they called him. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Come and yeah. see I he, Half. He, he lived for six months. Um, That's quite long. In, in half. And, uh, so he lived around. half a year. <laughs> That's uh, what they should have called him. Old, uh, Arthur, oh, I heard. Arthur this is, Year. This is crazy, that. Arthur uh, Year. Arthur <laughs> Year. Yeah, God, dude, dude. yeah, so that's the news this week. I, there's that's a the few, news. There's a few that I can say for next week, because obviously yeah. we're running out of time. Yeah. Um, one of them is incredible. One of the best things I've ever read. You might have seen it online, because it's an old story. But I guarantee you haven't seen it, because you don't care about anything. Mm. And it's... <laughs> It's amazing, and I have to show you the pictures as well. Amazing. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you ne- next week. That's news with your host Matt, the news man. Let's go shave your head.
No, we got, agony we've, cunt. Got, we've got to do agony cunt questions first. Right. Um, silly me, we made an Instagram account and I've been looking for all of your questions and things on Twitter and on YouTube. But I only just checked the messages on our Instagram page and we were flooded with an abundance of agony cunt questions. Yeah. I could do some quick much. fire agony cunt if you want. We'll do some quick fire ones. Okay, right. Uh, let's. Thank you guys for sending those in, by the yeah. way. Yeah. And remember, do not take Greg's advice seriously, please, for the love of fuck. No, I, I, I will give a thumbs up when I'm doing serious advice. <laughs> a thumbs down when I'm doing serious advice, but... Slightly funny. Someone just said, can you set Greg on fire? I've already done it. No. But yeah, it's already happened, so... Oh, this is a good one. Okay, alright. <clears throat> so, oh, I don't know if I should read this guy's name out, actually, no. because it's about a friend of his. Oh, okay, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Anonymous, but you know who you are, says, Alright, Agony Cunt, need some advice on how to make my mate realise that he's dating an, a, and stupidly got engaged to a fucking dog. She is a miserable, controlling cunt who is just fucking dirty. Further note, he has admitted that she would scratch his eczema, scratch her eczema while they are fucking. This can't be real. Thanks, agony cunt. Oh, mate, like, the way I see it is that your dick's not going in her, so why do you care so much? That's the point. Like, I don't give like, who gives a fuck? I mean, at the end of the day, like, if she scratches eczema, he, maybe he likes that. Maybe he's... I don't know. No, 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 I, it's, I don't more, think no it's more about the fact that they're getting married. Oh, okay, and he, and she's a dog. Yeah. yeah she's like a literal dog. <clears throat> a dog with eczema. Oh, yeah, the bitch. <laughs> no, but, oh, <laughs> Pekingese, hyperactive. Uh, like, the way I see it, like, if you really, really, really... Yeah, if like, it really bothers you that much... If it really bothers you that much, is... just bang her and then tell her. <laughs> just, just get out of the way. Just, that's the quickest way oh, to, to, God. to destroy relationships. Okay, yeah, Greg does thank it all you. the time. Thank you, sir, for sending that in. Um, Smosha Laura, Smosha underscore Laura says, Dear Agony Cunt, shortly, I am a person that loves to try new things, but sometimes I'm not sure in myself that I can do it. So the question is, how can I get more confident in my abilities and as a person in general? With love, Laura. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> like, whenever I am like feel doubt, I just get blackout drunk and do it. He's not, you're not wrong. It's true. Well, they call it confidence juice for a reason, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it works. Oh. Uh, someone said, why is my vagina leaking fruit punch? That was Courtney.unicorn. Um, underscore. Thank you very much. Is it actual fruit punch or is it just blood? Because you could be having she a didn't, period. She didn't specify. Could be having a period, but... <laughs> uh, Tony underscore dot two four oh one said, what do I do when I get my dick stuck in the toaster again? Stop putting it in the toaster. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Louis Louis underscore Greeny on Instagram said, "Is it normal to have one bollock bigger than the other?" Yeah, I've got uh, I've got one that <laughs> I've got like one that has an extra bit on it. So yeah, definitely is normal. Well, we'll, do, <laughs> we'll do two more for anyone who doesn't know. Greg have, has three testicles. I have two and a half. Ghoul underscore ZSK said, "Why is my dick brown and in your nan's ass?" <laughs> Well, maybe you, you're just a your skin color's probably just brown. Oh. I don't know why. I don't know why you're in my nan's ass, but I don't know. Oh my god! Next. <laughs> I love the next. If you want to send any of these in, by the way, we do have the Instagram. The Instagram is three seasons podcast. Okay. Just send us a message. <clears throat> and Stormcaller forty five is a good friend of mine. Hello. Um, said I'm about to take a calculus two and. Dis- and discrete math exam. Any advice? I told him you were an expert on all things academic. So. Don't just don't do math. It's a stupid subject. So. <laughs> it's such a it's such a pointless subject. It's like you do maths at like university and you come out and it's just. I I know how to do. Two plus one. Two. Plus one. <laughs> I can do two plus two better than you. <laughs> Brilliant. Good uh, like, hunting. Uh, Good Greg hunting. Yeah, if you want to do, like, character... I don't know, like, there's no advice you can give to someone. Like, if you're stupid, you're just going to, like, fail. If you're not stupid... I can't make you less stupid or, like, more smart. I can't do that You can make you shit. more stupid by fucking yeah. watching our videos. Yeah. That's yeah. True. So if you got to this point, you're probably going to fail your calculus. I'm not even joking. Okay, right, so that's going to wrap it up for this Next. podcast. <laughs> Next. <laughs> um, I remembered while we were uh, having the break in the middle... That I forgot to mention something at the start when we were all talking about what we've been up to. 
<clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? Checking how sweaty you are. I'm not sweaty. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up quick. Um, so the short film that I was in, the Maybank, that was released end of last year, um, recently won an award. It it won an award at the Calcutta International Cult Film Festival, and it's also been nominated for a Golden Fox 2019 award. I just wanted to say, uh, I'm really really happy about that. And if you haven't seen it already, if you want to go check it out, I'll pop the link in the description. That, Why is that it was... called Gold Fox? I thought I it was Silver Fox. There's loads of different Fox. film awards. Um, okay, Silver. yeah. So that's I've all... never even heard of the Gold Fox. Yeah, be that no, no, good. Honestly, that's well, gonna... well done, Gooey. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> We're gonna go. We're gonna go into like the award ceremony. It's like this is such a great film. Apart from that guy, Ben Lewis. <laughs> apart from that guy, there he was a prick. He was shit. No, okay, honestly, so that's, it is that's really good. Do good. Thank you very much. That's gonna wrap it up for this podcast. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. All of our social media, including the Three Skin social media, is all down there. Please go and click it. Thanks. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the little bell so you can see when we upload. But it's always. Podcast is Sundays at 7 o'clock. Highlights are Wednesdays or Thursdays if we can't get one out at 7 o'clock. But I believe there should be one out Wednesday for this week. Hopefully. Yeah. That actually, that's last week. Don't worry. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And we will see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> Time for the fun bit.